In this question, we are having a time domain signal Ft and its corresponding bilateral Laplace transform is Fs and Fs is equal to 4s plus 5 divided by 2s plus 1 and we are required to calculate the initial value of time domain signal Ft. So let's see how we can calculate the initial value of the time domain signal Ft. The initial value of Ft means F0 plus. So we are required to calculate F0 plus. And if you recall the initial value theorem of Laplace transform, you will find F0 plus is equal to limit S tends to infinity S Fs. We are having fs, it is given in the question. Multiplying fs by s, we will have s fs. And after this, if we apply the limit s tending to infinity, we will have f0 plus. So we can use the initial value theorem to calculate f0 plus, but we cannot directly proceed to the calculation of f0 plus using the initial value theorem because whenever we have the Laplace transform in this form that is polynomial in numerator and polynomial in denominator then it becomes important to compare the power of numerator and the power of denominator because we can apply initial value theorem only when Laplace transform is strictly proper. A strictly proper means the power of numerator should be less than the power of denominator but in our case you can see that the power of numerator is same as the power of denominator so we cannot directly apply the initial value theorem because fs is improper this is improper and to apply the initial value theorem we need to convert the improper fs to strictly proper fs. So we will try to make the power of polynomial in denominator greater than the power of polynomial in numerator and we can do this by using the long division method. So we will divide 4s plus 5 by 2s plus 1. If we multiply 2s plus 1 by 2, we will get 4s plus 2. Now we will subtract 4s plus 2 from 4s plus 5. 4s and 4s will cancel out and 5 minus 2 is equal to 3. So 3 is the remainder and we can write Laplace transform fs equal to 2 plus 3 which is the remainder divided by 2s plus 1. Now if you look at 3 divided by 2s plus 1 you will find the power of denominator is greater than the power of numerator and therefore this is strictly proper and this is known as remainder function. So we will get the initial value using the remainder function. This is the remainder function. So we can write our initial value which is f0 plus is equal to limit s tending to infinity s multiplied to the remainder function which is 3 divided by 2s plus 1. So we will have 3 divided by 2s plus 1. Now I will take s common in the denominator. So we will have f0 plus equal to limit s tending to infinity s multiplied to 3 divided by s inside the bracket 2 plus 1 over s. This s and this s will cancel out. So we have f0 plus equal to limit s tending to infinity 3 divided by 2 plus 1 over s. Now when you put s equal to infinity here you will find 1 over infinity 
is equal to 0. So finally we are getting f0 plus equal to 3 divided by 2 or you can say 1.5. So this is our answer and this is the initial value of the function or signal ft.